Let's do and obey as the law says. If not, you are going to blame yourself. For us to say we are at the feast of uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, the, the prayers is coming. No, even today, tomorrow is the prayers. As long as we are operating, we will pack. You know where you will go with your family. You know where you will find vehicle. But our job will never stop. Good morning. Um, this is the Gambia Police Force person here with the mobile traffic unit of the Gambia Police Force. Uh, last week, the mobile traffic unit has come in operation on vehicles that are violating the mobile traffic regulations. And I'm going to switch up on number of vehicles. Realized last year that there have been a lot of incident accidents. And going forward this year, um, the leadership of the Gambia Police Force is putting the modalities in place to ensure uh, mitigation of these accidents in the country. And most of whom have been very fatal. And going forward, it is very important that the Gambia Police Force, especially the mobile car, which makes it very sure to ensure that all people that are applying our roads uh, are in conformity with the requirement of the mobile car. So we have, uh, this is why we are in this operation and the commission of for mobile traffic is here with us to will keep us into the operation for Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Piaro. Good morning, viewers. Good morning, journalist presence here. And good morning, Piaro and your office. I will extend my greetings to the police commander, the high commander of police, for coming up with this initiative. Though this is not a new thing uh, that the countrymen, particularly the drivers, will experience, um, we have realized that a lot of people are flying on our roads without the, uh, the requirements. When we say requirements, it's under section 78. This ranging from number plate, tinted without clearance, reflectors, sign mirrors, etc and etc but our this special operation is an operation clear on number vehicles on our road now we started this last sometimes last week this is a concern of our cabinet this is a concern of our security council and by extension a very serious concern to the police command because most of the vehicle committing an accident particularly on fatality, some of them will just abscond. They will not stand what we call hit and run. They will, and then people around that area cannot push them out because they are without, normally they are without number of us. So basically, that's why we started this operation. Last week, and then there was a long weekend. Now we renew it today in Pricam. As you can see the background, so far, so good. We have empowered 50 motor, uh, uh, 50 motor vehicles here at the Bikama station and 18 at Medina Salando. All these things are either they have one number plate in front, one no number plate behind, or one in behind, no in front, which is contravening of Section 25A of the Motor Traffic Act. The Section 25. A, I will repeat so that the government people will know. And always I keep on repeating this. It says a person shall not cause or permit another person to drive a motor vehicle without a number plate being fixed on. A person who contravenes that subsection commit an offence, a fine not more than 20,000, not less than 10,000, in default two years, with two years imprisonment with hard labor. It doesn't stop there. He said the police shall keep the vehicle under its custody unless and until the vehicle remains, the number remains unfixed on the vehicle, the person or the owner shall also pay $100 to the police. These are very serious offenses which people are not taking note of it. They think if a police stop them to say your number plate, ah, imagine in cafe, you didn't ask me anything. Just asking me for number plate. I have paid my number plate. I'm having received. As long as mobile traffic is concerned, we are not looking at any receipts. All what we are looking for, vehicle and number plate. There are number plate units. If you go there, make your research and find it. 
You find plenty of number plates there. People don't go to collect their number plates. They will be they will be driving and flying on our road with only receipts, which is unacceptable. I read the law, the section of the law. It never it never it never said that if you don't have a number plate, when you have the receipt, you should fly on our road. No. This is there is no distinction whether you are a government vehicle, and I will repeat this. Or you are a security vehicle, or you are a political vehicle. You can see at the background, the NPP vehicle is back. Front, number plate back, no number plate. These are things that are not accepted. And then I feel if we are to obey each other, if we are to respect each other, the moment the police command release a press briefing about the number plate, everybody should try and comply. But people will say, I will go. Yes, uh, it's a month of Ramadan. When I meet King, I give him five dollars or twenty dollars. He will release me. I don't need your thousand dollars. Much more your twenty-five dollars. So let's comply. Let's do as expected. Let's do and obey as the law says. If not, you are going to blame yourself. For us to say we are at the feast of uh, 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 what do you call it? The, the prayers is coming. No, even today, tomorrow is the prayers. As long as we are operating, we will pack. You know where you will go with your family, you know where you will find vehicle. But our job will never stop, unless people stop their attitude. Unless, and I will never stop this operation, unless I see the last vehicle in this country have a number plate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, it's very important that the police on our mobile traffic has highlighted um, the need for the operation. And this has been an ongoing operation since last week. The concern has been many of you would ask about what happened with this because always you come up with operations to operations. Um, how long is this going to last? And all that? He has already said this is ongoing operation. But we also need to distinguish between what we call routine activities and operations. Routinely, police officers are in, in strategic locations where they are doing their routine job, meaning they are checking people for requirements and drivers. But also, we, the reason why we come up with operations is when we see the need for, for, for increase in the need for people to do robust operation to ensure that um, this activity, that numbers, vehicles on the street are at least limited to the numbers. Which, and also, um, because it's not just about the numbers, he highlighted one thing which is very important, hit and run. We have seen that, witnessed that last year in the OIC road, there has been a lot of hit and run, you know, when people would knock down people and would leave them there to, to die, actually. And that is so inhumane. And I think this is one way in trying to, to ensure that those vehicles that may run away, the drivers or standbyers may be able to see the vehicles in their number plates and then they'll be able to report according to it. Uh, basically, this is one of the reasons why we are here today. And uh, it's very important to, to actually highlight that and for the public to understand that the Gambi Police Force is here to ensure to ensure and also maintain the peace and security. And the peace and security extends uh, as far as uh, the traffic is concerned, because traffic is a big concern. Nowadays, everybody would want to move from one location to the other. It's part of our job, it's part of our, our, our activity, daily activities. And the vehicles that we are using are the very vehicles that may lead us uh, to death. So it's important that those vehicles meet the requirements uh, for, for being on our way. Uh, basically, we may allow um, yeah, uh, question. yes, um, uh, before they come with one or two questions, I have to salute His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda, Mr. Adamabu. He has taken full responsibility by passing order that no vehicle should enter into State House without number plate, regardless of what type of vehicle. So if head of institutions should emulate His Excellency, I think we will not see vehicles flying on our roads without number plate. I thank him and I want to extend and I have to, if I didn't say this message, well, I'm not going to be fair to him. This, I thank him and then I am also calling my authorities, the IGP and other security heads to make sure that they pass similar, which I know they did because a circular was out to all units to make sure that they put their number plate before flying on our road. Thank you. Charity begins at home. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So even the security uh, vehicles are not left behind. Uh, that every vehicle, government or non-government, whether private or commercial, every vehicle, as far as you are a vehicle on the road, uh, you should display your, your own number plate. And, and this goes for everyone, not exception.
which can now be digested. Yes, my question to Commissioner Collins is about how you've impounded these vehicles for violating some of the regulations. What's going to be next? Uh, thank you very much. Next is no vehicle is leaving here without being fixed in the number plate. That's number one. Number two, after fixing the number plate, we arrange you to court for violating that subsection 25A of the Code of Traffic. Either by giving you the mandatory fine or arrange you to court. Yeah, uh, my name is Landis Sisa from Kerfa. Um, February 2023, you impounded about 38 vehicles around Carnifing area for overcharging passengers. You arranged them before the court. And then I was there when you were taking, when you, when you took them to the, uh, the magistrate court and then they were fined to pay. Um, this time again, since, since that incident happened, um, we have not had, I've, 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 I personally haven't had any driver charging $75 for Westfield to Banjul after that incident. Now that you are, you said you will take these people to court, um, are you expecting another, uh, that outcome, uh, what you achieve in the, in, in, in the other, you know, case? Are you expecting to receive a, a positive response from these drivers? The second question is, there are a lot of people saying that, you know, our drivers don't normally go for, you know, the normal driving, you know, training before they were issued a license. And then this allegation has been leveled against the police, that the police are issuing license to people who are incompetent. How do you respond to this allegation? Uh, thank you very much. With your first question, yes, police are arranged. All that we do, we are actors that are there and the police and other security institutions that are given powers to arrest. We do arrest and judge. Giving them fines or custodian sentence now is left with the magistrates. We cannot take them. But we know, as long as I have said it earlier, they are here and they will not go stop. The issue of um, overcharging. Yes, the police are there, the laws are there. He who violates the law will take you before the law. If they learn from their mistake, fine. Even the, the, the sentencing people is to, to make sure that the person learn over his or her mistakes. That's why you are sent to prison. It's a creational set for you to realize and know what you have done. It is not correct. If the drivers that we send to prison for one year, over 20 something or nine, 10, 10, 10, 10 drivers, it was a lesson to other drivers, and they have stopped it. So when they stop it, there is no problem about that. That's all what we need. Yes, um, just to add on to what he has just said, um, actually, that's a good practice. So bravo to the Gambia Police Force for having um, achieved that success in terms of the, the fares, operation on fares. I, I remember that operation, uh, like you mentioned. So that's, that's the spirit. The spirit is the same that we, we are hopeful that after this operation um, we would be able to see or we wouldn't see vehicles without number of police on our roads. That's it. So the next question is regarding um, license. Lancy. Yes, it is important to recognize this, that the Gambia Police Force is responsible for ensuring that um, drivers actually are tested. And this is ongoing. This is ongoing to ensure that drivers are under the, this year um, like I said, the, the leadership of the Gambia Police Force has taken this very seriously and this is why we started this year with operations as far as traffic regulations are concerned. And, and one of them is what we are replacing here and, and the, the regional testing officers and other equally we are called at the police headquarters where they had meeting with the leadership to, to actually tell them the concerns and the way forward that this is really serious 2024 is a year of change and to ensure that our, our incident because we registered a lot of a high rate of accidents in this country and some of some of which is attributed I mean there has not been very any study but it's been attributed as a result of either you know drivers and maybe drivers who actually Overspeeding and related matters. But in general, yes, the, the Gambia police force is testing drivers before they are handed over license. There are maybe one or two cases where people have evidence to show that yes, one or two might happen, but that's not actually the case. So that's not what is routine. You understand? Because to any rule, there are exceptions. We cannot say hey, absolutely no. There are maybe people who may. may take those avenues, but that's not what is happening. So what is happening is, as far as the Gambia Police Force is concerned, as far as we are aware, is that um, everybody who is handed over a license is actually tested and given the license. Yes. Yeah, just to be able to add something, for the past five years, the issuance of license 
was privatized. You can only call it, it was a private entity, it was usuring, it was responsible for the driver's license. Thank God this year, starting from 2024, the licensing, the issuance of licensing, the total issuance of licensing is now handled by the police. So we will see a total deduction of people that are not capable of driving and they are issued with driving license. And then, as PRO says, we will follow all the procedures as it was before. Yes, I have a follow-up question. Just one, one, one question then. Yes. I have a follow-up question. Let Allah order to Yes, Commissioner, uh, sorry, PRO, in your um, statement you did say um, there is a difference between routine operations and, of course, um, this um, kind of operations. Um, um, which um, I, I want to understand whether it is uh, as a result of the failure of the, your routine operations that will warrant this kind of operation. Because if you are regularly on the highway and you are monitoring the same uh, issues, why the need to, uh, to generate this number of vehicles without number plates for a point that you have, to, there is a need to have a, a operation of this uh, magnitude? Why, if the routine operations are, are definitely paying off? Yeah. If I may come there, what PRO said is right. Um, seeing a police officer on a road is on two fronts. Traffic control and traffic control. Normally the police that you see on the roads in the morning and in the afternoon or at night, we our purpose there is to control the traffic. When you are controlling the traffic, you cannot have that zeal to be taken. As the soil goes in Mandinka, Sorry to mention that. You cannot be controlling traffic when the traffic is flo uh, uh, already flooded and then you want to be taking <coughs> where is your license, where is your number plate. These two things cannot go together. That's why the normal traffic control will go on and then the normal traffic taking will be periodic. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, one more question. Yes. Yes. Um, Commissioner, good morning, uh, Madam G from GFDS. Um, uh, this is going to the commercial vehicles. Uh, we know that most of these vehicles are lancing. Some of them are lancing to carry 14 passengers, some 18 passengers. Now in the Gambia, we don't have any vehicle uh, that is carrying 14 passengers. All the 14 passengers' vehicles are carrying 18, and all the 18 passengers' vehicles are carrying 24. What is the police doing about this overloading of the commercial vehicles? Okay, um, thank you, I'll handle that. Um, actually, it's good to know that. It's good to know that you are sharing this information and, and we'll actually uh, take note of that and we'll do the need for it, okay? And yes, basically, that's my response to, to that. Good response. Yes, please. My name is Aurahem Sisek from A24 I want to ask, since the operation commenced, have there been any improvement as to those that violate the law? And we also realize that there are people who would actually have, uh, they will not have number plate, but they, they will try to avoid the highway and go to the bagway. What step is the unit taking to make sure that those people are actually uh, caught? Yes, thank you very much. Um, before I give it to Commissioner, um, firstly, the first week Commissioner has highlighted, the first week was more of uh, a warning. People who were arrested in Kanye actually they were warned and released. And today is the beginning of the operation crop. That's why you are on here so that you can cover the end that anybody has. I like to highlight that anybody who is found one again would be put before the end. So for those who are actually diverting and using from the main road, that's too much we do. But you know, no matter how, how you run away, it's okay. Oh, yeah. So this is it. So this is the last question, please. 99 days. So yes, um, we asked one time about the uh, impounded cars from the government institutions. What I want to ask is, are they as well subjected to the same charges as for the private cars? <coughs> of course, yes. There is no distinction in the law. Nobody is above the law. The section says a person shall not cause or permit another person to drive a motor vehicle without a number. It doesn't mean, mention private or commercial or government or security. He said a person. A person is a person. No matter where you are, no matter your position, no matter your rank. Thank you very much. Thank so, you very much. Piero, yes. Piero, the commissioner made mention of you know drivers that abscond from you know accident. So I want to you know ask a question regarding mm -hmm. okay. abscond. Yes, you said you, you said sometimes the drivers run. will. Huh? Is it the hit and run? Yes, the hit and run. Okay. Yes. 
Do you remember the driver who hit those workers at the Batin Hadid Highway? Until uh, three people lost their life, is in mind too. He was charged under Section 49. There are different charges. Section 221, race and negligence are causing death. And Section 49, driving a motor vehicle in a dangerous manner where a life of somebody is taken. Many manslaughter, life imprisonment. So most of them are there. We will not just come to out and say, this is what we have done, this is what we have done. But as long as the press is present today, this is what we do. We don't just disclose, this is what we have done today. No, no, no. Find out. If you go to the PRO's office, he will tell you what happened to those drivers. And then the action that you have taken, <coughs> we have realized, sorry, that a lot of accidents are occurring in LRR. And the immediate action that we have taken, we have deployed two patrol vehicles, highway patrol vehicles, since that day. They are there 24 hours. That's why these three days, four days, you didn't hear accident. Sometimes drivers are very, 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 they know. And then they are just, I will not say. Uh, because if you say they will say Satan, but sometimes it's sometimes negligence. That's why the law is saying RAS and negligent act. They are totally negligent. The police are there, no accident. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.